here's a walkthrough tour of our 2017 Mitchcraft 37 foot tiny home. Uh, my wife and I custom built this or had this custom built by Mitchcraft in 2017. And uh, we gave Mitch our design and uh, worked with him to build what you see here before you. Um, Mitch did all of the uh, exterior, mounted the trailer. I mean, everything was finished walls, interior and finished exterior. Uh, and then we did the cabinetry in here. My wife's father's a cabinet guy uh, in Southern California. And so uh, he came up and helped us do some really nice cabinetry throughout the, the tiny home. Uh, we were able to make the kitchen space kind of the biggest, uh, the biggest that it could be. We do a lot of cooking and so we wanted a hood and we wanted a good range top. So we have a 30 inch uh, Whirlpool gas range here with an electric uh, Whirlpool Gold oven. Works really well, nice convection oven. Uh, nice big uh, farmhouse type apron sink here with a Delta faucet. Uh, really, really nice, uh, almost industrial feel on the Delta faucet. And a lot of cabinetry with um, soft closed drawers and door fronts with plenty of storage. Uh, this cabinet here, we have the water shut off and gas shut off to the house. They're located in that cabinet. And this cabinet here is where the instant hot water heater is. So this is a tankless unit that feeds water to everything in the house, uh, does the shower and both sinks. And here we have an LG uh, 10 and a half cubic foot refrigerator. Uh, it's a little smaller than what you'd have in a house, but it works really well for the space and is bigger than any of the RV fridges that are available. And, and it's uh, very efficient. Uh, we've got a bunch of storage here on this side under these steps. All the way down to this guy down here under this step. And then we also have this one here, which we used as a uh, storage for spices, spice cabinet. Um, all the materials used in here, this is hickory. Uh, these are all made with either birch or maple plywood. Uh, the floors are red oak hardwood, and this here is a maple top. So um, nothing in the tiny home is uh, built with um, OSB. Uh, we have a little bit of MDF over here on this side, but very little. Um, the walls are a quarter inch thick uh, plywood, like a ACX plywood that has a, a little float over the top. And then these steps over here are solid wood. These ones are beech, as opposed to uh, the hickory on the other side. Um, this here is hickory. And this is where we put our uh, electronics, um, kind of our entertainment stuff was in there. Uh, we have a Fujitsu uh, heat pump mini split up here, inverter system. That works extremely well. The tiny home is very well insulated. So between this unit in the summer, uh, which keeps the, the tiny house at a nice cool temperature, um, and then it also works as a heat pump in the winter time. And this uh, wood stove here works very well. This is a Morzo uh, squirrel stove, and that thing cranks the heat in this place. Um, it's, uh, it really is well insulated and, and cozy all year round. Um, <clears throat> this is a vintage couch from Macy's. I found a build sheet on it. It was built in 1973, I think. And it's Italian leather, uh, fits the space really well. So we're letting that go with the tiny home and a little uh, coffee table um, slash workspace here that you can do your uh, lap, put your laptop on work from home. Uh, we have really nice Norman pull down shades throughout the whole house. Uh, the only windows that don't have shades are these ones in the kitchen and that was just to keep them clean. But we have Norman shades <clears throat> on both the front doors, all of the uh, windows up in the master loft and all these windows up here, as well as the windows back here in the back. 
And um, I guess the two windows in the bathroom, we don't have shades on either. But uh, I do. I did a little bit of night work, and so it was nice to have those to those blackout shades to kind of close off all of the light in the house. <clears throat> and here in the bathroom, we have a bathroom sink here with custom copper fixture. Um, nice big mirror. We have plenty of light in here. I can hit the switch here, and this light is able to provide a bunch of light in here. Um, these windows are awning style windows. So when you crank them, uh, they open like a, kind of like an awning. And we have these in both lofts and in the bathroom. Um, so it's kind of nice in the winter time, you can have them open. And if it's raining or anything like that, you can hear the rain, you can get a little air in here, but you don't have to worry about the rain coming in. Um, plenty of storage up here for towels, toiletries, toilet paper, whatever you might need. And then this is an LG uh, all-in-one washer-dryer combination unit that works very well. Uh, here we have a macerating toilet made by Liberty Pumps. And this macerating toilet <clears throat> works really well too. Uh, we're about even with our septic system here, so we needed to have something that would pump to the septic system or pump in above it so that it could flow down into it. And that's what this does. Uh, this, can, this can pump, I think it's up to 40 feet vertical, um, which is quite a bit. It, it might even be a little less than that, but it's, it's, it really works well getting uh, everything to the septic. And then here we have a horse trough bathtub that has been powder coated in uh, like uh, porcelain white. So uh, it looks kind of nice, especially with the copper fixtures here and a Hans Grohe rain shower head. Uh, coming back out into uh, the house, the main portion, this is a guest loft here. And my wife used this as her closet. And we can see we have awning windows up here on both sides. And we have the pull down uh, Norman blinds, blackout shades. And then these are two big cabinets uh, just for a lot of space. There's curtain rods and things in there for, uh, sorry, not curtain rods, uh, hanger rods in there for hanging items. And then we have uh, where my wife stored her shoes, but this could be used for whatever. All these shelves and cabinets are uh, customizable. And the space here fits a double bed uh, just about perfectly for, uh, for guests to come and stay. Now over to the master loft. So here we have the master loft. This is a queen bed. Um, this is a brand new mattress that will sell with the tiny home. And then we have uh, cabinets here that we used for our dressers. So big deep cabinets that flank both sides of the bed. Uh, you could use them for whatever you like. I think we used books and we put our clothes, some of our folding clothes in those. And then we have these cabinets here that open for book storage or uh, DVDs or whatever whatever you might have. Uh, this is another area that has storage. This is a uh, closet space here that pulls open and then has uh, two hanging rods in there for hanging clothes. And then here we have uh, another big drawer for storage. That's a quick run through of the tiny house. Uh, really, everything that we built in here, we tried to build with the best materials that we could afford. And so uh, we went with hardwoods on everything. These are real subway tiles. Um, this tile down here on the floor in the bathroom, that's a basalt stone, stone tile. Um, that's really nice. Uh, everything in here, everything in this tiny house is... Uh, the highest quality that we could afford to put into it and it really is a very uh, luxurious tiny home uh, let's go outside and look around the outside a little bit more all right so here on the outside of the tiny house uh, this isn't necessarily a small tiny home so it is a triple axle and all three axles have brakes uh, and they're heavy duty 7500 pound axles each each one of them is rated for 7500 pounds um, and this is built on a trailer-made custom tiny home frame. So it's not like uh, 
an RV frame that was converted or a flat deck trailer that was converted, this trailer frame starts out made for tiny homes to be as rigid as possible for the tiny house and, uh, and make sure that the balance of it is very even um, for a tiny house, for tiny house use. So that's what this trailer is made for. Uh, out here on the outside, we have this galvanized steel wainscoting. Uh, and then this is um, cedar shiplap siding that we've coated in a preserva wood oil. And uh, that seems to hold up really well and look really nice. Uh, we have gelled win. All the windows are a gelled win vinyl double pane window with screens. Uh, we have LED lighting. These are motion and uh, light sensing lights out here on the corners. And we have those on all four corners. And then these ones here are LED lights that work off of a switch. Um, just kind of nice front door lighting. This is a gooseneck style trailer. So it pulls very evenly and uh, is very maneuverable. And then we also have storage in the sides here for outside items. Uh, here's the mini split head, which is mounted on the tiny home on the front. So it doesn't have to be disconnected. If you ever move the tiny home, it can just be left alone and, and left connected. You can see this whole side of the tiny house here, the beautiful shiplap. And the roof on this tiny house is also galvanized steel, so it will last for a long, long time. And we had all the screws on the roof portion uh, coated in a Volcom sealant, so that will last for probably ever um, without having to worry about the gaskets on those sheet metal screws leaking. And then we did a half round gutter on here, kind of a European style half round galvanized gutter that will also stand the test of time.